Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. I wanted to talk to you about kind of a serious condition that we don't necessarily talk about all the time. It certainly is the first time I think I've ever discussed it with you, but Lyme disease. Now, last month in May, which we kind of missed the boat on this one, but May was National Lyme Disease Awareness Month. And I found this article in um, Neuro Optometric Rehabilitation Association's journal, which is Nora. I thought it would be a really great one to share because we don't really tend to think about the vision issues that are associated with Lyme disease, but there's quite a few. Um, so approximately 30,000 cases are usually reported by the CDC every single year, and those cases have doubled since 1991, which is kind of an alarming thing. Um, so we most often will see like a red circular bullseye, kind of a rash that occurs on the infected spot or site of where the tick bit and latched into the skin. Now remember, a lot of times it's gonna kind of be head and neck, scalp areas behind ears. It's really common for them to go to those areas. So we really have to watch them and this rash and uh, the bullseye thing can show up, you know, within uh, one to two weeks after you've had the bite. Now, about 70 to 80 percent of people infected will develop the rash, they say, which could occur anywhere from a few days to several weeks after the tick bite. There are quite a few things neurologically that happen, and over time, this is a serious, serious condition. In fact, it's actually associated with chronic fatigue, lots of autoimmune disorders like multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, even Alzheimer's. So we're noticing that um, there are quite a few different conditions that we might be able to attribute back to Lyme disease, and it causes inflammation within the brain. So the part of it that's really concerning for vision is that if the brain becomes inflamed, then it can cause like an optic neuritis or an inflammation of the nerve. Now, if the nerve stays inflamed for a length of time, it can affect your eyesight, and people can develop a condition called optic atrophy, where they actually have vision loss. And so that's something that um, we do see a lot more optic atrophy cases now more than we've ever seen before. And I think we have to start looking at all of the reasons why, and even Lyme disease might be an answer as to, you know, one of the things that causes inflammation in the neurological system of the brain specifically, um, we see and can inflame the spinal cord too, um, but it will cause inflammation of the optic nerve. Now, what are some things that are associated with, you know, problems with people for vision associated with um, Lyme disease. Well, one I mentioned could be vision loss if you have and suffer from an inflamed optic nerve that could lead to something like optic neuritis and optic atrophy. Um, the other thing that's really noticeable, it seems as though there's quite a few cases of nerve palsies. So nerve palsies, a, a nerve that would run through the brain and maybe connect to um, the muscles of the eye and control the direction of how the eye is able to turn. We think that nerve palsies generally are something associated with stroke, but it can happen just because of inflammation within the brain. And so lots of other conditions like diabetes can even cause a nerve palsy. Um, so if there's inflammation in the brain from this Lyme disease, then strabismus or eye turns can result from the nerve palsy. You can also have a strabismus without a nerve palsy. Lots of double vision then in the nerve palsy and or with the strabismus is going to ensue or could. Um, visual field defects are common and overall just problems with seeing clearly. So it might affect the clarity of eyesight without necessarily causing a vision loss if it's maybe caught and treated in time. But these are some definite real things to consider. Also visual processing disorders because if the brain is inflamed and the brain can't process information that you're seeing or thinking about, then it can affect those things as well. So I think this is a great kind of topic to bring up and discuss and draw to public awareness because we don't tend to think that Lyme disease could have a bearing on vision but it most certainly can. So if you'd like to learn more about our clinic, you can go to visionforlifeworks.com. We have a questionnaire on there if you want to fill that out. If you're 
thinking that maybe something's going on with your vision that, that possibly we could help you out with, we would love to be able to do that if you happen to have had Lyme disease and you've suffered from some of these things that we've talked about today. Well, then definitely go to the website, fill out the questionnaire for us, or if you're local, give us a call at 618-288-1489. We can discuss. doesn't matter if it comes from Lyme disease or you know, it comes from whatever condition, um, we treat them, you know, we treat everybody kind of the same. So a strabismus is a strabismus, double vision is double vision. Um, so we definitely want to try to help you um, not only improve your vision, maybe get rid of the double vision if we can and help stop the eye turn if that's at all possible. So again, go to our website, visionforlifeworks.com or give us a call at 618-288-1489. Thank you.